Now let's get on to the regulatory news in the pharmaceutical space. After getting weighed down uh, by regulatory wars for an extended period of time, there is some good news for Sun Pharmaceuticals. The U.S. drug regulator has approved Sun Pharma's filing for a psoriasis drug after spending years and big money on its development. The drug approval comes as a much-awaited boost. Dashan standing by with all the details of exactly how this will benefit Sun Pharma Illuma. Is, is that how it's said? Yeah, Illuma. So Illuma, Illuma is the is the brand name. Let's uh, it, it's known as Tildra. So that's uh, what the general public knows that. Uh, so just the news first, uh, and then we'll get to what it means for Sun Pharma. So finally, the US FDA has approved uh, Tildra for Sun Pharma. So that's a positive, and the drug is used to treat sporosis. So that's uh, the broad news that has happened. <coughs> now, in terms of uh, you know the entire timeline. So what happened in September 2014? Sun Pharma bought this drug for Merck. Uh, they spent 80 million dollars, and Merck had already conducted phase one and phase two trials now what happened in may 2016 uh, sun pharma announced positive results for phase three because that uh, phase one and two was done by merck then in october 2016 they presented the study in vienna in front of the european academy of dermatology and and that was something that was extremely positive finally if you're looking at it almost sun has spent 320 million dollars on the purchase and development of this drug 80 million went up front uh, to merck the balance 250 million Million dollars was spent in R&D by Sun Pharma, and finally yesterday Sun Pharma gets the US FDA nod for the drug, which is considered positive. Now let's take a look at uh, what this uh, market is and what this partnership is. Uh, partnership with Merck. So Merck will manufacture the drug, and Sun Pharma will market. And because of this, Sun Pharma, apart from the upfront payment that they have done, they will play milestones and royalty to Merck uh, going ahead when the sales do happen. As far as this entire market is concerned, it's a big market, it's a six billion dollar market. Uh, it's a crowded market, no doubt, but the market is growing in single digit. But but remember, a single digit is on a $6 billion base. So the growth potential is significantly higher. Now, what are analysts saying what could potentially happen? They believe a 250 to 350 million dollar annual revenue from year five is something that they are factoring in. And revenues can be higher if the growth is much higher than the single digit that uh, the market is predicting at this point of time. It's a high margin drug. Margins will be to the tune of 80 to 85 percent. But overall, because it's a crowded drug, analysts see the market share for Sun Pharma less than 5 percent. Uh, as far as uh, what works for Sun Pharma here, uh, first of all is the fact that you know the low frequency dosing is a big advantage that they have because in efficacy it does not rate among the top there. Secondly, the growth in the specialty portfolio will definitely come in for Sun Pharma because generics uh, is having a problem. So the specialty drugs will stem the decline in the generics market that it has been facing. <coughs> Apart from it, it's a branded drug with high margin, so it's not a generic, so that is something that is positive. And finally, the it's a large market with significant amount of growth potential that could benefit Sun Pharma going ahead. Now, what doesn't work in favor of Sun Pharma? First of all, uh, it's already late in a crowded market. Some of the other competitors have at least a two-year advantage on the drug. Uh, they've already come in much before that. Uh, they need attractive pricing to gain market share because the efficacy is not extremely high. So they're betting on the dosage. So it's a, not a superior product in terms of efficacy. That is where Sun Pharma will not get. And finally, they will need three to four years to ramp up the drug. So nevertheless, so finally, if you, if you put this in a nutshell, it's positive for Sun Pharma. Definitely the share will open, uh, the, the street will like it. But remember, the peak revenues will come in after five years because they will need three to four years uh, to ramp up. So definitely whether the rally will sustain. Uh, most of the analysts I spoke to indicate that, you know, this could add anywhere between uh, 20 to 25 rupees per share on Sun Pharma. Uh, and that's uh, pretty, some of them do he also mentioned that it's already factored into the price. But Nevertheless, uh, it's positive news for Sun Pharma after years and years of you know not getting anything there. Dashan, I had one question. Uh, wouldn't the peak sales estimates be a fairly dynamic number because we <laughs> the market as I as I read overnight is is a fairly growing market. So I says is now being promoted for aggressive treatment as well. So the peak sales over five years or ten years is a fairly dynamic number, right? So, so I'll tell you here. See, there, there are already drugs that are there. there. This is the third version. There was IL-12, there was IL-27, this is IL-23, which is the most superior drug. It's a six billion dollar, but it's growing at one percent. But there are already nine players there. So what is being factored is now Sun Pharma needs that time to go in. So they will have to go to doctors, they will have to get the prescription done, everything. So that will take three, four years to ramp up because it's not a superior product. It's a low dosage product which will benefit them not as much as it could have been a superior product. So the peak sales pretty much will come in in, in the fourth or fifth year will be anywhere between you know 300 to 500 billion dollars. That's the broad range. If the market grows 
higher, it could grow higher. But but there will be more competition also that will come in. So on a base, average base, anywhere between 300 to 400 million dollar on the fifth year is something that you know the street broadly is anticipating.